do hurricanes named after women kill more people? The answer, it's a lot more complicated than most people seem to think. Researchers at the University of Illinois say that they found that changing the name of a hurricane from Charlie to Eloise would nearly triple its death toll because people associate male names with aggression and severity while they associate female names with passivity. And so they're more likely to be scared of male storms and thus take precautions like evacuating their homes. The researchers came to this conclusion by performing several different studies. First, they rated all of the different hurricane names on an 11 point femininity scale. So the more points they would give a name, the more feminine that name, the fewer points, the more masculine that name. And then they looked at the data. They looked to see what the death toll of each hurricane was and how much total damage it caused. And what they found was that the more feminine a hurricane's name was, the more damage it caused and the higher its death toll. They then conducted several psychological studies in which they found that subjects were more likely to guess that a male storm was more intense than a female storm, and thus they would be more likely to evacuate their homes. Now, the subjects themselves didn't think that they were making these decisions based on gender. And so uh, the researchers say that this indicates an implicit uh, sexist bias in the subjects, not an explicit bias. This study has been getting a lot of press, and with that comes a lot of criticism, much of it justified. Uh, one of the biggest objections seems to be the fact that we didn't start naming hurricanes with male names until 1979. And so the researchers actually did consider that. They looked at just hurricanes after that time, but what they found was that they didn't have enough data points to come to a statistically significant conclusion. Now, remember, even when they were looking at all of the hurricanes, including those from before 1979, they weren't looking at them in terms of black and white male versus female names. They were looking at them on a continuum. So, for instance, uh, Belle might be considered more feminine than Sandy, even though both of them are female names. Still, though, it probably doesn't help your uh, your data when so much of it is biased toward the feminine end of the spectrum. And speaking of Sandy, another criticism is that when you remove Hurricane Sandy as a statistical outlier, you find that the male names are actually more damaging than the female names, according to a statistical analysis by Harold Brooks at NOAA. It's worth noting that the researchers already did remove Katrina and Audrey as outliers prior to the study going public. Others have criticized the researchers' psychological data. For instance, Jeff Lazo at the National Center for Atmospheric Research complained that the first three studies were all performed on college students, and the last three studies were all performed on volunteers from the Amazon Mechanical Turk and that they, these people might behave very differently from people in coastal cities who actually face these types of scenarios. Now, don't get me wrong, I do agree that this is a problem, but it is a problem with 99% of psychological research. I don't necessarily think that that's reason to completely throw out this study. Instead, it's just a reminder that we should take studies like this with a grain of salt and wait for follow-up research that can be done uh, to, to help expand upon the conclusions in this research. To sum up, I don't think that this research should be taken as gospel, but also I don't think it necessarily needs to be completely dismissed as bullshit. It's just one more small data point to add to our growing understanding of very complex human behavior. And the more we know about that behavior, the better we'll be able to possibly save lives in the future.